What's up everyone, Danny Lina back today. We're going to be checking out the Aston Martin V12 Vantage. We're going to do a stage 6 maxed out shift and tune, a stage 5 shift and tune. We'll see if we can find a live racing setup and we'll do a review on the car and all the good stuff. Huge shout out to YouTuber Nitro for CSR. Check him out on YouTube and if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. When you have this car all the way maxed out, you put your nitrous all the way to the right, final drive all the way to the left, tire pressure 8 psi and that gives us a 7.306 on the dyno to drive this car we're going to let go of the gas right about number one shortly after launch shift in the second hit your nitrous all the rest of the shifts right before the red line all right here we go three two one go second nitrous third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and that's really about all she wrote and there we got a 7.3 something, which is a pretty darn good time, I would say. Now we are going to fit this car back to stage 5 parts and see what she can do on stage 5. When you have the car with all the stage 5 parts and all the fusions, you're going to put your nitrous all the way over to the right. You're going to put your final drive on 2.36 and your tire pressure is still going to be at 8 PSI. That will give us a dyno time of an 8.794, 8.794 on the dyno. I think we're going to drive this the same, one, same way on stage 5. Let go of the gas right about number 1 to launch. Shortly after, shift into second gear, hit your nitrous, and all the shifts right before the red line. 3, 2, 1, go. Second nitrous, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. And that's all she wrote. And we should get really close to the dyno time. So this car does not seem to be much of a dyno beater at the moment. That's, that was a little bit slow. I was running 7.7, seven, seven, seven eights, depending on how good you get the shift and start and launch and all that good junk. All right, so let's see if we can find a good live racing setup for this thing. To make this car really good at live racing, put your engine to stock, turbo to stock, intake stock. Nitrous stage one, body stage five, tires five, transmission five. That gives you 1,901 on the Evo points and 647 on the performance points. Put your nitrous, well, you can't tune it, so just put it wherever it is because that's how it goes. Final drive 3.55, tires 8 psi, and that puts us in the 10.8 lobby with the 10.795. And we, run a one, we want to run as close to 10.8 as possible without beating 10.8 because we do not want to beat the dyno time or run into the next lobby. We want to stay in the 10.8 lobby. So this should get a little bit of a nice lobby advantage. To drive this, we're going to let go of the gas just a little bit before it launches. Shortly after launch, shift into second and hit your nitrous. All the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go go second nitrous now if you let go of the gas right on one it seems like the needle kicks back and that does seem to slow me down we don't want to be slowed down at all so that should put us in the 10.7 so right before you cross the finish line you might want to downshift once or twice if you're running faster than the 10.8 but that should give this a very nice lobby advantage all right, let's go ahead and do a nice little review on this car. And so far, we do see that it should be very good at live racing. This is basically a 7.3 car. 0 to 60 in like less than a second. 0 to 100 in like 1.8. The top speed is about 440 miles per hour. So it's a pretty fast car with good stats. It's not much of a dyno beater. Um, it can beat Tempest if you have enough parts on it. So if you need a car to beat dyno time by a lot, this may not be your best but best bet, but this car is pretty much going to be good at everything else other than beating the dyno time. So yeah, good top speed, good acceleration, good at live racing. Not a bad car. Not a bad car at all. I try to make videos to help you guys out, so help me out. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and if you want to help support the channel, you can drop down the video's description or click the thank you button or join button down below the video. You'll find some affiliate links for Amazon or Waves audio plugins down there in the uh, video's description in case you want to get a new microphone, new lighting, new camera, or some audio plugins to dial in that really awesome pro audio sound. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Lightning out. See ya.